The dashboard demo is your time to shine and you can make or break your deal. There are right ways and wrong ways to do a dashboard demo. So I'm going to share four habits that can help you win the deal. The deal's a deal. These are habits I've learned from over a decade in sales and over five years in tech sales for one of the biggest cybersecurity companies in the world, Cloudflare. The first thing you gotta do is understand the audience. How would you even know what to give a dashboard demo about if you haven't done a proper discovery? You need to know who you're speaking to, what they even care about, to be able to show them what they want to see. Need a hand? So before you start the demo, take the time to learn about what they need. What goal is it they're trying to accomplish? What change are they willing to implement? What are they hoping to see from this meeting? Once you understand their needs, then you can go into the dashboard demo with a very clear objective. It's fully customized to what they want. Knowing the objective from the discovery allows you to begin the dashboard demo with very clear expectations about what the next hour is going to be like. Do you already know in your mind what you want them to take away from this meeting? Is the purpose of the dashboard demo just to show them how it works so they feel comfortable it's easy to use? Or are you trying to prove something about how it's different from what they're currently doing now? Having this clear objective will allow you to stay focused throughout the entire dashboard demo. You don't want to overload them with too much information. Just keep it simple. They're not going to remember most of what you say anyway, but they will remember how you made them feel at the end. Did you make them feel reassured? Do they feel comfortable that, okay, we're in good hands here. This person seems to know what they're doing and they're going to be with us after we buy the product as well. I feel comfortable going forward. From your discovery, you'll already know the one or two things you want to focus on anyway. There's no need to cram everything in. Think about it. When you make a decision to buy a phone, for example, are you buying it for every single feature it does? Or are you buying it for one or two things it does? Focus on the most important things. If they are interested in learning more, oftentimes they will tell you anyway. Which goes on nicely to the second habit, tell a story. Remember how I said they're not going to remember everything you said? Well, they're probably going to remember the stories that you tell them. But instead of just showing a feature, build a narrative about it. Use some of the case studies you have with your company to talk about what they were going through, which is similar to what your prospect is going through now, and how they managed to overcome it using your solution. You then pinpoint the things on the dashboard demo, which are precisely what your prospect is trying to overcome. Of course, use real data whenever possible, but how often are they going to really remember all the numbers you throw at them? They'll remember the bigger picture of what could be accomplished. This makes everything more relatable and they'll be able to really internalize the practical applications of the dashboard. All of this will make the third habit even easier to do, which is engaging the prospect. Encourage active participation. Tell them to ask you as many questions as you want. Every time you show them something, ask them their thoughts on it. Get feedback. The worst thing that can happen is you or your solution engineer is just talking at them the entire time. Think about when you were in school. If a teacher is just giving a lecture, how engaged are you? But if you know you're with the kind of teacher that regularly just picks up random people in the audience and asks them a question, you stay on your toes and you're fully engaged the entire time. You kind of need to play this role as well in your dashboard demo meetings. Don't be afraid to seek their inputs. Keep them engaged and invested in the meeting. You may not get another chance to speak to them again. Their level of engagement will give you an idea of how interested they actually are. Because if they're not asking questions or they're saying, no, no questions, then maybe this is just a fact-finding mission for them. And they're not actually serious about making a purchase anytime soon. If there are things that you can do in the dashboard demo which involve their participation, do it. Instead of showing how to customize settings, ask them. So if you were to set this up, what kind of filters would you want to set here? They can tell you exactly what they want. You can show them how they can do it. And that helps them really internalize, okay, this might be the solution for us actually. It's doing everything I would want it to do. When you've done all those things, that's when you can do the fourth habit which is summarize the benefits. Conclude the demo by summarizing the key things that you want to share with them. But also during the time you've had the meeting, you've been taking notes of what piqued their interest. These are the things you want to repeat back to them as well, not only in the meeting, but in the follow-up email too. 
Remember to highlight all the things that helps them achieve, whether that's increasing sales, reducing costs, or time efficiency. Here is where you get to make a compelling case as to why your prospect should adopt your solution. It's okay to be direct. You wanna make sure there's a very clear call to action at the end. What is it you want out of this? Do you want a third meeting with another senior decision maker? Or is the time now to share pricing and start to negotiate? Perhaps they may have requested to do a POC. Okay, if that's the case, then what's the success criteria? When will the POC begin? And how long will you be doing it for? Assuming the price is agreed and the success criteria has been defined and is successful, then you'd be going forward with the purchase. Is that correct? Take control. Make sure you have very clear expectations at the end of the call from your side and their side about what's next. Remember, every demo you do should be catered to each prospect, and you can only know how to cater it by doing a great discovery first. Once you've done that great discovery, then you do a dashboard demo focusing on the one or two things you know are most impactful to them, making sure they're engaged the whole time, and building a narrative about why it's meaningful for them to adopt your solution. If you thought these four habits were successful and want more sales tips, then I'll see you in our next one-on-one. -on -one.